Hi and welcome to yet another KSP2 video. Welcome to the world of Kerbals. After almost two months, we are back at it again. So yesterday I went onto YouTube and I saw this. <laughs> and um I watched the video and I'm like I'm pretty sure I can do better. And this is me trying to do better. So I built this uh strat launcher slash air launcher slash just a plane kind of based off of the b52 stretch of fortress it took me actually quite a while to build this air launch vehicle so that's one of the reasons why i didn't record the time lapse uh, at the beginning of the video um i mean the design seems pretty obvious to me at least uh, maybe not necessarily the fuselage the internals of the plane where the cargo is which, by the way, the cargo is a space plane, it's a rocket plane. Which we're gonna be deploying in just a sec now. I'm actually quite proud of this launch vehicle. And to be fair, it took me longer to get the <laughs> freaking cargo. I almost said the effort. Uh, to get the cargo to work properly, so I will be able to drop the plane and switch to it. Like, you'll see here how smooth that is. When Kanda almost south <laughs> this time, but we managed to recover and we got the engine going full bananas. And we're gonna skip to the second part where we are actually gonna land the plane first. Uh, this is just uh, for <laughs> thumbnail purposes. This one, I'm um, taking some pictures and stuff, it's kind of glitchy. I don't know why. But when we're done taking pictures, we can launch the plane and get our beast back to the Kerbal Space Center. That's gonna take quite a, quite a bit of time to get back to the runway. So I sped up the footage even more. You're welcome. <laughs> Why have I been away? That's probably a good topic for this entire journey. Well, I don't know if you like playing KSP2 and facing all the glitches, all the bugs, all the problems that still persist even though they were supposed to be fixed. Uh, pretty much that's the gist. Um, I've been also struggling with university. So I'm at the end of my first university and I applied for technical physics and aeronautics i didn't get in for the aeronautics i'm gonna just transfer after a semester but i'm going to be an engineer basically i got in i'm a tech physics engineering or whatever you want to call it student and that's basically my life and now we have the runway inside <laughs> i hate talking about my life really Unless it's a beer and some friends sitting around me, yeah, that's that's fine. Now I'm realizing this commentary is probably kind of bad. But you probably saw me quick loading, so my flying skills in KSPR and that good either. Either way, I was able to hit the runway somewhat correctly, I guess. Um, the previous time I just crashed the plane. <laughs> we landed safely though. We can skip ahead to our rocket plane to orbit. And I was trying to be as efficient as possible. So at the beginning, I didn't fly at 100% throttle. And that was a cut as well. <coughs> Don't blame me. Um, I realized the aerospike engine, which is what we're using in this instance, is way more efficient at 100% throttle for some reason. I mean, it kind of makes sense to be honest but we're gonna creep our way up into the orbit so we don't really waste too much fuel we are going to have just around 300 meters per second left i believe if i remember correctly after completing our burn yeah just a little over 300 meters per second it's going to take us around 200 to the orbit we are still good and speaking of good, the game actually ran great this time around and it really feels like they've been fixing a lot of stuff. I haven't really encountered anything major that would prevent me from doing the mission, honestly. 
just some minor bugs that the plane would detach itself from the, the coupler inside the payload bay and I couldn't fly it out out of the payload bay and I had, I'd have to redo the mission and so on it was just during testing anyway but now though we completed an orbit and our deorbit burn as well we are on our way back to the KSC to the runway I know this is just a short video and this is me trying to get back into the game honestly and I figured since I got an idea to do space planes and planes why not combine the two plus Matt Lund's video kinda made me want to do it a little bit more <laughs> this is wobbly though what you can see on the screen you just have to play with trim a little bit more and if you wanna there's a craft file in the description remember to play a lot with the trim you have to trim your planes in this instance and thank you for watching. I hope to see you again very, very soon. Online last time. <laughs> it's been over two months, almost two months, let's say. But we touched down safely. This is Jeb. Very happy. And goodbye.